Welcome to lesson two. This time we're focusing on transactions and fees. So what exactly is a transaction? Transactions are an essential part of the blockchain. You might even say they're the building block of a blockchain, except they're not exactly the block itself. So in what way are they like the building block? Well, there are many transactions. You can think of this yellow as transactions inside one block. And these blocks connect together to form the blockchain. Another thing about transactions are that they are atomic, meaning that there are only two possible outcomes. One, the transaction happens completely all at once, or two, it doesn't happen at all. In other words, these are known as success or failure. We have to be cautious about failure cases, especially when we're making smart contracts, which in Solana is called programs. This is because we have to learn how to deal with possible failure outcomes when it comes to transactions. Transactions still might be a pretty confusing thing to remember or to define in specific words. A helpful way to remember what transactions are is to refer to the Solana terminology page, which we are gonna go to right now. This is the Solana terminology page, a very helpful page for up and coming Solana developers like you. Here we can see the definition of a transaction, which is one or more instructions signed by a client using one or more key pairs and executed atomically with only two possible outcomes, success or failure. You can see how this concisely defines what we just discussed. On this page, there are so many other terms you can look at, including key pairs, which we previously looked at, here, or new things, like transaction ID, which we'll also look at in this lesson. Feel free to explore this entire page in your own time or as something you just want to refer to as you're learning. Another question you might have is how are transactions occurring in the real world in real time? We can explore this now on another website that might be helpful for you. This website, explorer.solana.com, is a great way you can explore the different transactions and statistics in real time. For example, one thing that we can see is the transactions per second. As you can see, there are so many transactions happening per second. In comparison, Ethereum has around 10 to 17 transactions per second. Another thing that you can look at is the average ping time. This is the time that it takes for data to be transmitted. You can even see how many transactions have occurred. In this case, it's 79 billion, which is so much. By the time you're watching this, it's probably even more. Now let's actually go into a block. So if you click here, we can go into just a random block and you can see if we scroll down that each block has multiple transactions like we discussed earlier. And some of these transactions have failed and some of them have succeeded. Now we can even look into one of the transactions. So let's look at this one that succeeded. This transaction has information like its signature, its timestamp, and even its fee, which we'll talk more about later, which is how much soul was needed to make this transaction successful. So in this lesson, we'll be learning how you can make your own transaction in JavaScript. Now that we have some background down, we can get into coding. Let's go.